All right, well, here we go with something totally different. And if it fails, well, you won't get to see it, so who cares? So, I am a huge fan of the Chinese hot pot. And part of that hot pot is fish ball. So in here, I've taken some ling cod. I've taken some salt. I've taken an egg white. I've taken, they are, they say tapioca, which I'm sure would be better than the cornstarch, but they say you can use cornstarch. And that's it. And then you take it, you, you food process the shit out of it. How do you do this? I've already done it a while. 70, 60 to 70 times, which seems excessive. And then what you're supposed to do I only do once. I'll squeeze the ball out of your hand. Oh shit, didn't wipe it off. So you have one bowl of cold water for the balls and then one to put them in there. So what you're supposed to do is squeeze it between your fingers, put it in the ice water, and hopefully it floats and it does float. So you get to see this episode. However, I'm not going to use the fucking traditional Chinese um, method because I have a melon baller. So what I'm going to do is melon ball, trim her up a bit, and put her in there. Put it in the ice water. Let that sit in the ice water for a bit. Now, if you've had Chinese hot pot, you know there are different flavors of fish balls. So I'm gonna kind of dip a little hole in there. And I have fresh oysters and fresh clam. I'm gonna put a clam in this one because apparently I didn't do the oysters properly. So we're gonna do that. Clean it up around the outside so we get a good all around we want the clam totally encased well almost like a I don't know something these something cooks make we're gonna put that in there a little hole in the back Okay, well, we're gonna get rid of that one. Try one more time. Dink. Hole in the middle. Let's try the prawn. This is all fresh out of the ocean today. So, let's try the spoon this time. That works, is working great. Anyway. I'm going to surround that. I'm going to let it sit in the cold water for a second. Now, if you're eating the fish balls right away, then they can go straight into the soup. If you want to store them, um, put them in some hot water, put them on some parchment paper, and... Um, Put them in the freezer. Freeze them overnight. Freeze them overnight. Oh my god, I can't stop a fucking fish ball. Alright. One more try. Maybe we'll try mixing it. I, I, I'm going... I, I got the recipe online. Uh, you have to hit the batter. Uh, a about 60 to 70 times and trust me I've tried it if you don't your fish balls will not turn out oh go traditional there you go skip the fucking melon baller anyway we'll throw that back in there we'll put her in there 
I'm gonna let that sit in the ice for a couple minutes. Then we're gonna hit the water. I made uh, a traditional hot pot sauce the other night because you can't get it on the island anymore. I don't know if you saw my broth, but then I added my own peppers and a few of my own spices. And my best friend, who is from China, said it was the best hot pot broth he's ever had. And he is from China. He eats hot pot every single weekend. This is what, kind of why I'm trying to learn to do this. So, um, no longer guaylo. No, no, no. Uh, um, uh. I'm getting there. This was a new experiment. I'm glad it fucking worked. And, uh, fucking keep eating, keep drinking, and stay the fuck inside. Oh, yes. And, uh, make sure you, drew, you uh, drill your own glory holes. Because, uh, cause it's like masturbation. Glory hole, then sex with a condom. That's our new, uh, our new philosophy. So I just stay the fuck inside. <laughs>